And the job began, she says, with a disturbing discovery. Half of the veterans were dead that I screened. So almost every other piece of paper that I touched was a veteran who had already passed away. I mean, what the hell is this? I really don't understand it. The VA didn't care about them. They took them, they put them in a file, and they stuffed them away. 13,184 yes, veterans who were waiting for begging, an answer. Begging for help. This is bad. This is very, Stephen very bad. Welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This video just goes to show you that this isn't the first time that the VA has been scandalous. Scandalous. Scandalous, right? And I mean, this is so disturbing that I almost don't want to do a video to it, but this stuff needs to be exposed, right, to the veteran community so they know what they're going to be dealing with or they might have to deal with, right? So, VA, actually, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let the video do all the talking and I'm going to give you some commentary throughout. But let's just go ahead and get right on into today's clip. Secretary McDonald is facing a new challenge. It comes after last summer's scandal at a Phoenix VA hospital, which rocked the Department of Veterans Affairs. CBS News investigations revealed widespread manipulation of appointment wait times. Now, CBS News has uncovered similar mismanagement within the Veteran Benefits Administration. Wyatt Andrews is in Washington with our investigation. Wyatt, good morning. Good morning. You know, the veterans benefit side of the VA pays out $95 billion a year. That's in disability benefits, pensions, and even the American flags that veterans receive at their funerals. But our investigation has found widespread mismanagement of those claims, resulting in veterans being denied the benefits that they've earned, with many veterans dying before the VA gets around to answering the claim. Why would they take 10 years to send me a letter? Dory Stafford says this letter, obtained by CBS News, shows how badly the VA claim system is broken. It's dated July 29th, 2014, thanking Dory's husband Wayne, an Army veteran, for the disability claim he filed in July of 2004. That decade-long delay is just one problem. The other is that Wayne Stafford died in an accident seven years ago without hearing a word from the VA. And now this, does this upset you? It, it upsets me. Why would you suddenly, after all these years, send a letter to a dead man? You, can, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. You can't. They, they don't give a damn. You're going to send a letter to a dead man? Really? Really? A dead man? Come on, VA. Like, man, come on, VA. Do better. Seriously, do better. Just keep going. Five whistleblowers at the Oakland, California Veterans Benefits Office tell CBS News that Stafford's claim is one of more than 13,000 informal claims filed between 1996 and 2009, all of which were stashed in a file cabinet and ignored until 2012. Informal claims are letters from veterans expressing a desire to apply for benefits, and by law, the VA must respond with an application. We were getting letters from elderly veterans and for widows who were literally at their end of their life begging for help. Rusty Ann Brown was part of a team finally assigned to process those claims two years ago, and the job began, she says, with a disturbing discovery. Half of the veterans were dead that I screened. Let me get this right. 13,000 informal claims were filed. And of the 13,000 that were informal claims expressing a desire to file for or apply for benefits were stashed in a filing cabinet until 2012 and come to find out Half of them are dead. Sorry about that. I had to, uh, I had to go scream. I'm better now. That is asinine. That is absolutely. 
I mean, there's not enough words to explain the disdain <laughs> a lot of people have for the VA and for good reason. Because of stuff like this, man. This is. I don't have enough words to even describe this. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear them. I mean, how does one even go about the way they proceed with the VA after hearing something like this? I'm just telling you to be, a, a, you know, afraid of filing your claim. No, I'm telling you to do that. But I'm saying, how can one feel secure and like, yo, I'm going to get my benefits when they hear stuff like this? It doesn't make any sense to even have this happen. But here again, we we, we we put people in positions of power that do nothing and don't want to do anything. They have no desire to do anything, period. That's just that's just a fact of the matter. But let's keep going. So almost every other piece of paper that I touched was a veteran who had already passed away. And so that means they died. This veteran died. Correct. Waiting for their first answer. Correct. From the VA. Correct. But whether the veteran was dead Correct. or still alive, Brown says VA that supervisors that in Oakland ordered her team to mark the claims no action necessary right and to toss them aside. Whistleblowers say that was illegal. They wanted you to hide them? Absolutely. The VA didn't help them. The VA didn't care about them. They took them, they put them in a file, and they stuffed them away. 13,184 yes, veterans who were waiting for begging, an answer. Begging for help. When they Brown raised concerns, letters. she says she was taken just... off the project. <laughs> then, this past summer, Brown and former VA employee Tony Silviero found a cart full of those same claims ignored yet again. We pulled 15 indiscriminately to look at, just 15, eight of them were owed money. One was owed $36,000. And this was a year ago? This was just a few months ago. A few months ago. Last week, the VA Inspector General confirmed that because of poor record keeping in Oakland, veterans did not receive benefits to which they may have been entitled. How many veterans is not known because thousands of those records were missing when the inspectors arrived. This kind of behavior is criminal and they should be federally prosecuted period it, it, it's th there's no there is no, no explanation for doing this to people that their livelihood some of them it, it, it counts on getting their disability check these people should be thrown underneath the jail doesn't only deserve to be in jail he deserved to be under the jail This is, this is criminal. It's criminal behavior. This is what criminals do. You stuff something away. Somebody's owed 36 grand. Oh, and by the way, we'll just get to it, you know, sometime in the future. I'm going to end the video here because any further is just, it's just going to piss me off. Um, and I know that if you're watching this and maybe re-watching this, you're probably thinking to yourself like, damn. I hope I don't have to go through that, and I pray you don't. I, 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 seriously, I, I'm sincerely when I say, I pray you never have to deal with what some of these other veterans have had to deal with. But there's no guarantee with the VA. The VA is a toss up. You could or you could not get benefits. Who, who knows? It's you know, maybe one day we're gonna pay out benefits. Hey, maybe one day we're just gonna put it on the back burner, and then we'll get to it about 13 years later. So. I do videos like this where I react to disturbing stories, enlightening stories, and heartwarming stories um, for service members, active duty and reserves, and even some veterans. So if you're new to my channel, hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that way you get notified whenever I drop a new reaction to videos like this. And uh, click here for more videos like it in the future.